and amen and amen. We now get a chance to sit down with that angel. Psalm is Deanna Dixon. Thanks for being here tonight. Oh, it is a pleasure. Thank you for having me. Oh, my gosh. You're like an angel over there singing. Your, your voice is beautiful. Every, the vibe, everything was so amazing. Glory be to God. That's out of pain, um, position, prayer. <laughs> <laughs> All of it mixed in. All of it. Like a jambalaya. It's everything mixed together. 828, good and the bad, works together for those that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. So this is ministry. You know, I used to think it was just singing until he took me through some things. And I said, okay, this is ministry. Mm. So what you hear is what he, the Holy Spirit has given me, mm. inspired to touch people. Yes. Well, and I know that you're, you walk by faith no matter what goes on in your life. You are pointing it back to the Lord saying, Lord, I know you've got this. And that is such a hard thing sometimes for us to do. It is, but you know, um, it is through the hard things that you learn who you are and who you're not mm. and give that grace, that, that God give you the grace to go through everything. And in, in this hour, I heard, I heard the young lady, I'll piggyback, just like I was telling you early, it is through that grace and that mercy that you learn so much. You know, sometimes when we get tired of the hard times or the hard things, that's where you grow. That's where you know. That's where you show. Ooh, hallelujah. Amen. Well, and I think it's a great focus because, I mean, we don't want to just dwell on the negative here tonight. What we're really saying is we want to put the negative away and put it in the Lord's hands yes. and say, Lord, I know that you will, you will take care of this. You will have an outcome far more than I could ever do on my own, if any I could do on my yes. own. Yes. And then trust and stay in there, even when things aren't happening. Well, I've prayed for things literally for a year and a half. I had a serious hand injury, and I'm a guitar player, so you need this left wow. hand for the chord side. I prayed for over a year before the Lord restored my hand. While I was praying along the, the path, sometimes it didn't feel like it would ever happen. Mm -hmm. But I think what the Lord's looking for us to do is say, look, you just stay steadfast. I'll take care of the timing. Mm -hmm. Don't you think that's true? I know it to be true. There are times when you're going to, David says that it is good that I've been afflicted that I might learn thy statutes. Especially in this season and in this time, there's mm -hmm. so much fear. But God wants you to have faith and not to move so quick. You know, when we go through things, we try to manipulate this or move here or do this. Sometimes it is in standing still. And that's the hardest things for us humans to do, especially in the technology world and all that. Yes, sir. Boy, that is so true. Mm-hmm. I also want to make sure we have some time to catch a couple things. Our time is short, but I want to get a lot in. Okay. Um, so first of all, before I forget, if someone tonight would, would like to get in touch with you, uh, some of the things that you have going on with your music and your ministry and all that, how do they do that? What's the best way? Okay, well, first of all, I have a website. It's www.apostledeannadixon.com. I'm also on Facebook as Prophet is Deanna Dixon. I'm on Instagram as Psalmist Deanna Dixon and also Twitter, um, Psalmist Deanna Dixon as well. Good. So many, many ways to get to you, yes. your music, your ministry and all. Or Perfect. you can Google me. Good. Thank you. Now, the other thing is, I, um, I want to make sure we get to this. You said earlier to me, you said, in these last hours, we need to lift up one another, stop being so hard on one another, or we'll lose our way. I, um, I really receive that, because I think there's a lot of that going on, and if we're not careful, we're going to lose the whole thing, because the Lord's going to say, I, I told you to love one another. <laughs> this wasn't what I meant. Mm -hmm. Well, in this world, television and everything that we're watching, all the violence, it is actually trying to promote hate, anger, rage, even within the body of Christ. Mm. This is where we have to extend that same grace and mercy that God extends to us every day. There is none. He says, no one that is above reproach. So with that being said, it is time for us to love each other like never before mm. and to to build up your brother and your sister because we can all point out the flaws and this and that but it takes more to just say you know what I'm going to love you back to life I'm going to pray for you I'm going to stand with you because you, what you want me to do is get mad at you know I'm going to love you hallelujah <laughs> amen well and I think if we're not careful we'll become the fertile ground for the enemy to come in there and use us as his weapon that's it that's, that's really bad when you think but it's kind of almost ingenious you know, not that I ever want to claim that the devil's genius, a genius, but you know what I'm saying, to be able to manipulate us and motivate, there's no authority over us. Exactly. But if we're not careful, we'll start behaving because he'll just nod and push and prod and get us so mm -hmm. off balance that we'll do things that aren't really godly. 
Well, you know, also, when there was a shift, and, and I feel like there's a shift, that's the prophetic starting to work, y'all, that shift, we're the Joshua generation. Joshua didn't ask, Joshua say, take the land. God said, but be of good courage. He kept saying, he said it three times in Joshua 1 all the way to 10. He said, be of good courage and be strong in the Lord. That's where we're at right now. It is time to be of good courage and be strong, but you got to do those things. You got to get in your Bible. You got to find a, a good believing, faith believing church. You have to work the word. This is daily. We go to church daily, we eat daily, we do this daily. Our relationship is the most important thing, and we got to get back to that as a Christian society, as a church, as a person. We're so busy. The internet got everybody's busy. Everybody, you know, I call it the spirit of attention. Look at me, look at me. Okay, I'm just saying. Every day when you get up, God, I just thank you. Strengthen me today, keep mm. me today, keep my mouth, keep my ways, keep me. Mm. Mm -hmm. I receive that. So true. And if we're not careful, we'll miss all of that. And the Lord will look at us on Judgment Day and just shake his head like, what were you thinking about? <laughs> we and we'll wasn't. be like, what, what, what? <laughs> right? Yes. Man, that's tough. Um, I thought the other thing, you know, th this idea of just love one another and trust the Lord. That, that kind, of, kind of encapsulates kind of what we're talking about here, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Well, in non-judgmental, um, be mindful of the way you speak to each other. Be mindful of judging. Be mindful of everything. And loving one another is just, just that. Don't make it so hard. I'm going to love you throughout anything and anyone. We just got to go back to the basics. Remember when we were small, you knew how to respect each other. You knew how to say excuse me. You knew how to say I'm sorry. Something like that. Go back to the basics. That's all God wants in this hour. Let's go back to basics. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. So real quick, before we wrap up, you're completely vested in music in addition to your, your other aspects. I mean, you have many aspects of your life, but your mom was a singer, your dad was a musician, you've been singing professionally for many, many years. You're a perfect person to encourage someone tonight who may be a budding artist. They could be a musician, they could be a singer, whatever. And they're trying to figure that out, like should they do that? What should they do? What what words of wisdom could you give to our audience tonight if, if either they're budding or maybe they have a a relative who's doing so. Anyone encourage them. Okay. Well, I'm not going to just keep it, just focus just on artistry, but anything in this whole world, and it's going to sound crazy, but it's, uh, trust me, it's been proven. Don't run after money. Don't run after fame. Just do what God has called you to do with all your heart. And the Bible says your gift will make room for you. And it doesn't matter what room it is, just long as you j just work that gift. Just work it, and God will bless you. You see, sometimes we're looking for man and this. And, and well, you know, we try to look at, you know, like I said, look at me. When God say, I'll point you out. I'll say, that's my daughter. That's my son. That's the one I want you to promote. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Well, that's an interesting perspective. So whatever the gift is. Just honor the gift, but don't chase things that are not part of the gift. Because you'll yes. lose oh, the gift. Yes, oh, that's good. I like the way you said that. Yes, mm. that's I, it. I, I think that's amazing. I think that's great, great advice. So it's another mature angle on how to develop those blessings, those, those yes. gifts. Yes. Mm. Well, i got to tell you, um, I suspect there's a lot of people tonight who would love to get closer to your music, get closer to all the things you have going on with your ministry, uh, maybe dialogue with you. And it sounds like all that is possible through the uh, social media accounts. We talk to yes. Yeah. And also my website as well. Right. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I guess the other thing would be that I think you have such a refreshing spirit. You're so constructive around how to follow the Lord. And it's so, it sounds, I won't say easy, but it sounds so logical to me, you know, where you really just have to focus on the Lord. You really have to put aside the things that don't, that, that do get in the way. Because mm -hmm. if you're not careful, you will never get back to the Lord. You'll be so preoccupied, right? Mm -hmm. Well, basically, I think we've made it hard. Church have made it hard. Just be who you are. I didn't get here because I'm all great or whatever the case may be. It is through trial. It is through error. It is through bad things, good things. And I just said, yes, Lord. And I allowed him to just do it. Amen. Well, I got to tell you, it is such a blessing tonight to have you part of the program. Your music was beautiful. Your words of encouragement are beautiful. So thanks so much for being here tonight. Oh, it was a blessing being here. Thank you so much for having me. Amen. Our pleasure. Wow. So we pray tonight that... that 
that the program lifted you up, that the program encouraged you.